Are you fed up with all the Instagram, TikTok, motivational mumbo jumbo? Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't need to go on Instagram to learn some life lessons. Cinema has them all packed up for you and presents them in the form of great movies. So now let's take some time to understand one of my favorite movie quotes from The Matrix. You must know it by now. You can't win. It's pointless to keep fighting. Why, Mr. Anderson? Why? Why do you persist? Because I choose to. We're going to unpack what this quote means, how it basically summarizes the entire Matrix trilogy, and probably the most important part, what you and I can learn from this in our daily lives. Let's dive in. At the quote's core lies the belief of free will. It's about the argument of are we free to make our own decisions, or are all of our choices and actions made by factors outside of our conscious control? This quote is Neo's way of declaring his independence from the controlling forces of the Matrix and machines. In this moment he is acting not because of fate or programming, but because of his own conscious decision. He argues against Agent Smith that he keeps fighting not for love, not for survival, and not for peace. Is it freedom or truth? Perhaps peace? Could it be for love? He's not fighting because of some external reasons that just makes him continue to fight. Actually, all the external reasons should make him stop fighting, which is why Agent Smith, who represents determinism, is so desperately trying to figure out the cause of Neo's actions. Why, Mr. Anderson? Why? Why do you persist? But Neo is simply fighting because he chooses to. Do you believe in fate, Neo? No. Because I don't like the idea that I'm not in control of my life. Throughout the movie, Neo is again and again confronted with choice, but he is often not sure if he actually makes the choice or if it is always destined for him to make that choice because of external factors. The Oracle likes to tease him with this. And don't worry about the vase. What vase? Neo breaking the vase is a simple example for a complex philosophical question. Of course he didn't actively decide that he now wants to break the vase. But the question is if his own conscious decisions actually led to him breaking the vase, aka it's his fault, or did it just happen because of external influences, aka the oracle's fault? Or was he always destined to break the vase no matter what? As the oracle says, It's really going to bake your noodle later on is... Would you still have broken it if I hadn't said anything? Another simple yet hilarious example is when the Oracle offers Neo to sit. Why don't you come and have a sit this time? Maybe I'll stand. I felt like sitting. I know. It's the same thing. Was Neo actually able to make his own choice to sit down or not? Of course these are all just simple scenes, but Neo has to make many choices all throughout the movie, all throughout the trilogy actually. This entire dilemma of free will versus determinism that is built up throughout the trilogy is resolved in the moment Neo says, because I choose to. Before that, Neo was always told that because he's destined to be the one, he's gonna choose to save everybody. And he has to choose to save everybody, but he will choose it because he's the one. You have to. Why? Because you're the one. So he was always unsure if all these things are actually in his own hands or if it's all just fate. In this moment he decides that it's not because of external factors, not because of fate, not because of the destiny of the one. He continues to fight because he chooses to. Another choice Neo and every other human in the Matrix is able to make is to decide whether or not to accept the Matrix. As the architect explains, this is actually the only way the Matrix functions. The problem for the Matrix beta versions was the missing choice choice. The problem is choice. The architect needed to build choice into the programming of the humans or else the matrix would always at some point crash. So what makes us humans unique is that not only do we always have a choice, but being able to make a choice is crucial for a life. And that brings me on to the most important part of this video. What was a problem for the machines is actually one of our biggest strengths as humans. We have a choice. No matter what the circumstances are, we always have a choice. Of course external things will happen that we cannot control. Let's say it rains for example. You can't choose to make it stop raining, but you can choose how you react to the rain. 
Let's say you wanted to go for a walk. You can decide to be sad about the weather and just stay inside, or you can choose to just take an umbrella and still enjoy the stroll through the park. For me, the quote really became a life lesson when I applied it to areas of my life that require discipline. Discipline is doing something that you don't feel like doing, but doing it anyway because you know it's the right thing to do or the thing that's at least best for you. Let's switch from our previous example of taking a walk to going to the gym. Of course you can say, oh no, I really don't feel like going to the gym, I really didn't sleep well, I'm still sore from last time, it's already 8 p.m. I'm sure you can always find a million external factors that seemingly justify to not do the thing you know you should be doing, or you can just say to yourself, I'm going to the gym because I choose to. And just like Neo declared his independence from the controlling forces of the Matrix and machines, we can declare our independence from external factors and choose to do the thing that's right. And I used kind of the classic going to the gym example, but this works for every area in your life that is good for you. It's probably gonna most often be a productive area of your life. Let's say you want to learn a new skill, you want to improve your cooking skills, you want to learn about investing. You don't have to wait for external factors. We are responsible for our emotions and our actions. We need to embrace this not as a burden, but as freedom. I hope you all found this life lesson from The Matrix inspiring. For those that are interested in some other movie life lessons, check out this video about the will to act. Otherwise, let me know what you think about this Matrix quote, and I'll see you in the next one.